With Ipswich Town still situated in an automatic promotion spot as 2024 gets up and running, the prospect of Premier League football returning to Portman Road for the first time in over two decades is very real. However, results over the festive period have seen Southampton and Leeds close the gap, so a good month of business in January feels vital. Having failed to capitalise on a similar position in 2015 under Marcus Evans, town fans will be hoping for meaningful investment from owner's game changer to bolster the town squad. A striker is perhaps the most important addition to make. George Hurst has obviously thrived the championship level but now faces a lengthy spell on the sidelines. Caden Jackson and Freddie Ladapo have both struggled to make an impact in the minutes they've had in recent weeks so another option in that area of the field or two feels critical. Once again, our mate Jacob Pauli has returned and profiled not only the attributes for a viable town target, but identified some potential options which may fit the bill as well in this January window. Let's consider the attributes we'd expect manager Kieran McKenna to be looking for for any new recruits. Off the ball work. McKenna demands a lot of his strikers and any new man will need to show willingness to chase lost causes and force mistakes from opposition backlines. They need to be physical, able to hold on to the ball and then release it to the likes of Chaplin, Burns and Davis on the counter-attack to get the team up the pitch quickly. Speed is important. Many opposition managers still set up their teams to attack us, so any striker quick enough to exploit the space left in behind could thrive. With those attributes in mind, let's look at some possible options. First up is Michael Oberfemi of Burnley. The Republic of Ireland International joined the Clarets a year ago, but has yet to register a Premier League start despite his side's relegation worries. With the Clarets likely to strengthen in their bid to avoid the drop, a lone move back to the Championship where he caught the eye previously with Swansea could make sense. Oberfemi isn't the tallest, so struggles in the air, but possesses a low centre of gravity which makes him very difficult to knock off the ball. This physicality combined with predatory instincts in the box make him a kind of hybrid of Hurst and Adapo. However, he's quicker than both of those and would provide more of a threat on the counter-attack. A permanent move may be difficult to negotiate if Burnley are planning for life back in the Championship, but they may see Suffolk as the perfect destination in the short term. Vincent Company was full of praise for town after last season's FA Cup fixtures and noting the Belgian's own possession-based principles, sending the 23-year-old away to work under Kieran McKenna may appeal. No surprises next is Jay Stansford of Fulham. Kieran McKenna is a long-term admirer of the online Birmingham striker, having considered him in the summer of 2022. After a solid year at Exeter, the 20-year-old has settled well into life a level up at St Andrews. He has seven league goals to his name so far, including one against town, where he darted in front of Vaclav Hladki before slotting home. This goal demonstrated his excellent movement and clever finishing. Stansfield isn't the best in the air though, and doesn't really fit the bill of a typical profile McKenna number nine, but may be better utilised elsewhere on the pitch. As a good presser, who possesses an excellent work rate and an ability to drift out wide, he could provide a challenge to Nathan Broadhead and Connor Chaplin in the number 10 roles. Whether Town can agree a fee with Fulham for a high potential player, or whether it probably ends up as a loan instead, it would be likely that a more physical forward would also need to be recruited too. Could that be Will Keane of Preston? The idea of a return for Will Keane wouldn't set too many pulses racing at Portman Road, but he represents a sensible, low-cost option. It's not uncommon for promotion contenders to recruit experience from lower down the league to help get them over the line, and Keane would fit that bill. The former Man United man has improved his fitness and consistency since his time at town. He netted 26 goals for Wigan in their League One promotion-winning season and then a further 12 in the Championship, despite the Latics having a turbulent campaign. So many of Town's games this year have been decided by a single goal, so having some extra height to deal with the opposition set pieces in those nervy final moments could also be useful. Although his physical attributes understandably dominate the conversation, he has technical quality with good close control and ability to shield the ball, which is underrated by many. Keane is very much part of Preston's current plans, but a decent cash offer or a possible managerial change and the uncertainty that that might bring might make a deal viable. A name we've discussed before on the podcast is Colby Bishop of Portsmouth. 
The Pompey frontman has enjoyed another excellent season on the South Coast and with 13 goals to his name so far, he is on course to beat last year's tally of 20. Of the strikers Town could realistically attract, his skill set is probably the most similar to that of Hurst, with excellent set-piece threat, hold-up play and the ability to feed off scraps. The deal wouldn't be straightforward though, Portsmouth are in a promotion race of their own in League One and are unlikely to sell unless big money is offered. Whether Town would be willing to stump up a multi-million pound fee on a 27-year-old without a minute of championship football under their belt remains to be seen. However, Bishop was supposedly on the club's radar in the summer, so reigniting that interest wouldn't be a massive surprise. Perhaps Kieran McKenna feels that the former Leamington striker, a late bloomer who has only become an EFL regular since 2019, could be a capable of adjusting to life in the second tier under his coaching. Finally, a wildcard option in the form of West Ham's Divin Mubama. The 19-year-old was a key part of their FA Youth Cup triumph last season and has made a few sub-appearances in the Premier League. Mubama possesses a well-rounded skill set with impressive pace and physical attributes leading some Hammers fans to tout him as the long-term successor to Mikhail Antonio. Perhaps his most impressive quality is his ball striking ability from outside the box, but highlight reels from last season's Youth Cup run show he's equally capable of finding space in the box to convert from close range to taking a play without any meaningful senior experience and thrusting him into a championship promotion race and expecting instant results may be a tall order. However, there were rumours last summer that he was a target for several second-tier clubs on loan, so scouts from across the division clearly rate him. Without his services secured beyond the summer, there would be little incentive for West Ham to loan him out, but perhaps if those terms were later agreed, a move might happen on loan later in the window. Let us know what you think of those options in the comments, and if you've got possible suggestions of targets as well, we'd love to hear them too. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel for our reaction to any deals that actually get done in the coming weeks.